Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Beautiful prayer. Absolutely. So, oh, we're going to talk about skin disease. Oh, this was <laughs> And mold <laughs> and discharges. It's and disgusting. I, I was not excited. <laughs> <laughs> kind of listening to long-term care insurance. Yeah, that's depressing. Yeah. But then, but then I got to chapter fourteen and I started seeing things in there. So once we get to chapter fourteen, I'm gonna ask you guys to to focus a little bit harder because there's some really good stuff in here. And it kind of leads us right into uh, our Christian lives and how we should think about the family of God. So we'll wait till we get to Leviticus 14. But I was excited because when I went through 13, it's, it was awful. And then I figured 14 was going to be more of the same, but it wasn't. So let's hold on till we get to 14. And, and we're going to see some really interesting Get things. through the scabs and the healing. <laughs> what, yeah, once we get through the, the, the scabs and stuff. Well, why, why do you think that all these things were laid out in Leviticus? Why did God tell us to watch out for these defiling skin diseases and the processes and everything else? Well, remember, we didn't have antibiotics and stuff back then. Yeah. yeah. So you sort of had to... So you knew what something was, you had to stay away from something. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't think it was contagious. Yeah. You just didn't know. You didn't know. Well, they didn't have chicken pox or measles yet, right? Because that didn't. They might have. We don't oh, know. We don't know. It, it talks about rashes and things, and I yeah. was wondering if that was, was like measles. And, and yeah. And probably didn't have blisters of white pox. That's chicken pox. how to deal with this mm -hmm. stuff either. No, everything they had came from God. As, as we found out. <laughs> Um, in previous chapters, when when God told Moses, make sure that you circumcise the boys on day eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that day interesting? Eight. We found out that yeah. current medical science has determined that the the antibiotics and the clotting in the male's body is at its highest ever. It's at 110 percent on the eighth day. <coughs> What jumped out at me? Doctors. What jumped out at me with all this is, and it might have been somewhere in the Bible, it was to keep everything holy. But yeah. 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 With all these ugly things, he had to keep it holy and clean. Right. And back then, or wasn't that? Look what would happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then I went, what were their hygiene practices? Yeah. Because you hear them a lot about washing feet. Well, you're what out, about the rest of them? And say, you're out in the desert and you talk about washing with water. And I'm right. thinking, if you're in the desert, how much water do they have? Well, as much as God gave them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but didn't they, they had to do that? They, they had come to clean. They had to wash. Clean. So wash the they didn't they do it daily. Right. And, and we found out yeah. as we started Leviticus that we think of Leviticus as all these rules. Yeah. But as Conda said, it's to make everything holy for God. That's, That's the whole got. book of Leviticus. So that we would be holy as our Father is holy. So being clean, being prepared for God, being blemish free. You know, not having these skin diseases and everything else. It was not only to keep the community safe, but to be perfect for God. Because we should always be a perfect sacrifice for God. Even now, we, we need to make sure we take care of our, ourselves and our bodies so we present the best we have for God. Right along with that, Pastor, it says in my Bible, in the footnotes, in other words, the laws of uncleanness constantly reminded the people of the devastating results of their sin. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy. <laughs> Oi. Oi, they, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, when we think of when we think of these diseases, we think of leprosy all the time. But it could have been anything. Um, just, eczema. Eczema. <laughs> it, it could be... Psoriasis. I thought about heat rash. What was it? They had, when we were kids, Prickly heat. infantigo, right? Like, oh, yeah. Because they would dig in the... Oh, that still happens. Yeah, yeah, they would dig in the dirt, you know, and... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, kids would get it in sandboxes a lot. And, right, because mm -hmm. we were always in the dirt. 
Yeah. We played we in the dirt. We video games, so we're in the <laughs> There was no daytime TV. Oh, there's no rainwater around. Right. So we were playing in the swamps and in the mud. Yep. And the, yep. You know, yeah. Yeah. Collecting, collecting tadpoles. Collecting tadpoles. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Don't put that in your mouth. Don't stick your tongue in there. Well, it didn't taste good, so you didn't eat it anymore. Right. right. We tried. But you had to try. Yeah. So we had these defiling skin diseases that might have been contagious. They didn't know. So they had to bring them to Aaron, the priest or one of his sons, so they could make a decision. Is, is this one of the things we have to isolate you for? And then they had to they did isolate them, get them out of the community. Brought to Aaron or another priest in verse 2, so that they may judge a person worthy to worship God. That's just the same thing. Remember, the priests were responsible for judging the sacrifices that came. So if, if the sacrifice wasn't worthy, that was the priest's fault. He was responsible for determining if people are worthy to come to worship, if their sacrifice was worthy to come to worship. So they had a big job to do. Um, all the things they, they talk about are things that medical science has determined, well, that's a good way to judge if, if people were sick. If the hair in the sore has turned white and the sore appears to be more than skin deep, it is a defiling skin disease. And current medical science has figured out, well, that tells us that it might be infectious. Could some of that have been cancer? That's what I was wondering. Could about. have been skin because, cancer? And they, let, they don't know, so it just goes to a point where it starts to do their yeah. skin. and. Because these people, they were slaves their whole life. They were out in the sun. Oh. No suntan lotion, nothing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it could have been cancer. But then again, it could, it could be anything. Yeah. the ozone layer was different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the girl. Right, because we didn't have... The heat. Of we didn't have that Swedish girl around to tell us <laughs> yeah. how bad we are. So. <laughs> well, we could grab us something. Yeah. Greta's it's not that Swedish girl. Yeah. Yeah, Greta, Greta not is, this Swedish She's an angry little person. Yes, she yeah. is. An angry little person. Very angry. Mm -hmm. And of course, of course, this being on the web, it might hit the wrong people. But. Yeah. <laughs> It's the way it is. Um, so they have to isolate the affected person for seven days to see how what it turned into. You know? And everything is very specific. Like Conda said, thank God for Jesus so we don't have to have this checklist out for every day living what we have to do. I'd be in isolation or out, outside yeah. the camp all the Bless time. You. Bless you. Bless you. We have a little allergy at that. Right. Yeah. So, so we're going to isolate Deb for seven days. Yeah. <laughs> to see what happens. She oh, probably no, would no, enjoy no. it, actually. Yeah, she probably would. Yeah. She probably yeah. liked yeah. it. Yeah. No. Okay, Natalie, you get to do Bible study then. Tuesday. Oh, oh my God, be isolated. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> Just Just see Congress Congress says she yeah. would. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Only yeah. under duress. Oh, it doesn't start till Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll give her up really hands on her. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that would work. So, so God gave them everything they needed to to understand. Does this person need to be isolated? Um, what to look for? Because they had no idea. Once again, God provided for everything for them. Um, and they have to wash their clothes. They weren't sure how things were transmitted. You know, if it, were, if it was because of fleas, you wash your clothes, that might get rid of the problem. If it's an infectious disease, and maybe if the sore seeped, they washed their clothes, it would get rid of it. Well, and they, I don't, maybe certain clothes should have been washed in hot water. Yeah. That weren't. Yeah. And they were transmitting diseases that way. Right. And a certain, at a certain point, they just had to burn it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't going to yeah. clean. I don't think they had hot water like we got. No, <laughs> no I, they have to heat it up over that fire. But yeah, yeah, yeah. They had to cook. Yeah, and everything was raw. Probably didn't have Grandma's copper wash boiler. Mm -hmm. She so, heated hers in. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see here. 
if there's a, in verses 10 and 11, if there's a white swelling in the skin that has turned the hair white, and if there's raw flesh in the swelling, it is a chronic skin disease, and the priest shall pronounce them unclean. Well, this is the second stage of leprosy. They wouldn't have known that if God didn't tell them. And there's different types of leprosy. There's a, a type that's contagious, and there's a type that's not contagious. I didn't know that. Yeah. But they didn't know it either until God provided them with the, the clues. Well, because they could have all been wiped out. They could have all been wiped mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. His people. His people. Great. We, we have to go to the purpose of Leviticus to keep my people holy as I am holy. That's the whole purpose of Leviticus. And within that are things that keep us clean, keep us healthy, don't eat pigs, don't eat snakes, don't eat bottom feeders from the water, all because God wanted to keep his people healthy and pure. Um, if the disease breaks out all over their skin, so far as the priest can see, it covers all the skin of the affected person from head to toe, the priest is to examine them, and if the disease has, to, has covered their whole body, he shall pronounce them clean. It's like, what? Yeah. Sounds like a doctor as well as a priest. But now, pronounce them clean. If it's over their whole body, that would scare me. But if the disease doesn't cover the whole body, then it's not leprosy. So they were clean. It was some other disease that wasn't contagious. Because mm -hmm. leprosy usually um, affected the extremities, hands and fingers, nose, ears, but it didn't affect the whole body. Oh. So this would have been some other thing that, that wasn't that. contagious. Maybe they didn't wash and they got fleas. Yeah, it's contagious, but it's not going to kill you. They had bed bug bites. Maybe it was bed bugs. <laughs> maybe, maybe it was sunburn that peeled. Not contagious at all. Looks awful when the skin comes off, Oof. but it's not awful. contagious. Mm. Feels, yeah, <clears throat> hurts like heck. Yep. So all these things you read about, it's like, wait a minute. If it's only on this one spot and the skin turns white, they're unclean, but it covers the whole body, they're, they're, they're clean. To us it doesn't make sense, but God says, <clears throat> believe me, this is the way it is. Um, when someone has a boil on their skin and it heals, uh, sorry, verse 18, and in the place where the boil was, a white swelling or reddish white spot appears, they must present themselves to the priest, because the priest had to see. If it's just a, a boil, eh, it's no big deal. It's not contagious, it looks terrible. But hurts it's not like him. Just, and it, once again, hurts like heck. But it's not a problem unless it starts um, turning into what he's described in verse 20. If it appears to be more than skin deep and the hair has turned white, the priest shall pronounce that person unclean. Because sometimes leprosy started as a boil. Oh. And then it turned as it got deeper into the skin, and then it got to the next stage of leprosy. Really so he had to watch them. If it's a boil, oh, that's okay, but a couple days later it's going to change. So they have to be very careful. Um, just incredible stuff. Let's see what here. Oh, uh, let's see, verses 29 through 37. If a man or a woman has a sore on their head or chin, the priest is to examine sore, and if it appears to be more than skin deep, and the hair in it is yellow and thin, the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a defiling skin disease on the head or chin. This is some disease that's uh, called favus. I guess there's, together we don't have a, do we have any nurses or doctors or mm -hmm. physicians Tracy's assistants? Okay, so what's favus? Yeah, I've never even heard okay. of that. So it's probably, probably something ancient that yeah. they've yeah. okay. we, we got that one cured, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So How do you spell it? F-A-V-U-S. Oh, it says um, a disease in the ringworm fam ring worm yeah. family. Ringworm oh. family. Just like Natalie talked about. Mm -hmm. And we know from being kids in the, the 60s and 70s and, and maybe 80s uh, <laughs> that, that ring, ringworm is contagious. Yes. You know, when your mom it's saw the kid walking around yeah. with that red uh, mark on them, she wanted you to stay away from them because they had ringworm. 
Color from the top. Tell tale from animals. Yes, yeah, oh, really. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I had a friend of mine who, uh, even though we lived on the south side of Chicago, he fancied himself as a farmer, and they had ducks and chickens and horses, and he got ringworm all the time. Oh. Lord knows what he was playing. Or wrestlers. <laughs> wrestlers, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. On the map. From the map? Right, yeah. On the map, yeah. Oh, oh. I didn't know that. I know. Yeah. Yeah. When did you have these first key out? I'm not sure. I know, like, a fair or snow. They've got... Mm -hmm. Sanitizing uh, stations. Yeah, oh, that was a detergent. Animal farm. Oh, right. But I don't think it's called that. No? Favus? But I don't remember no. what it's supposed to be called. I've not heard it called. It's called. Yeah. It just says keep clean. It doesn't like this. Yeah. Don't watch the animals. Maybe it's called a ringworm. That could be a ringworm. Yeah. That could be a ringworm. No, it's not a ringworm situation, I don't think. But you must yeah. pick up some bacteria uh -huh. after you shake yeah. hands with everybody at church. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. That's a Jeanette, Jeanette brought up a very good point. When you when you come from worship after shaking people's hands all the time, before you eat, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your cut back on the flu yeah. too, mm -hmm. especially during flu season. Otherwise, we're all going to get sick. Yeah. So. We changed that at one church during communion when it was cold and flu season in Wisconsin because mm. we had some kids who literally dunked their whole hand oh, in nice. the juice. Oh. And so what we ended up doing was doing mm. doing it for them and handing it to them Good so they idea. kept their hands out of yeah. the juice. Because yeah. Yeah. that's like the biggest yeah. culprit. But well, because you know... Little kids. Yeah, they oh, probably yeah. Kids are little and German. Lot lot they stuff. are. They're little rug rats. They yeah. just, <laughs> and I love my children, but... Yeah, as well, little kids. Are children. No. Anyway. Wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it goes in. It goes into all this detail. Um, uh, I like verse forty. A man who has lost his hair and is bald is clean. <laughs> <laughs> I read that. Part. So there you go. There's hope, <laughs> There you go. <laughs> well, because it doesn't say that on here. <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't see that on there. Well, because back in the day, they had longer hair. They all had beards, beards. and they, you know, germs who knows? Have, germs have nothing to hang on to. Right, right. It's well, bugs. They could have bug head, bug lice. Right. But yeah. but yeah. when yeah. when everybody yeah. looks the I same. Know. I don't know. They all have hair and they all have beards. Somebody that doesn't have that could be strange. So God, provi God provided to no, no. I took their hair for a reason. So, so they'd stand out in the crowd. Exactly. Right. Plus, plus God said to me, he said, if, if I take your hair, no one can tell how old you are because all the gray is gone. Oh, except here. for the beard. Yeah. Yeah. Even some of that's gray. Yeah, he yeah. cut some out the other day. I'm going to cut these gray well, those ones. Are, those are they can come in wiry. The robes. Yeah, they yeah. Come. <laughs> Straight out. Right. Yeah. So, so at least God tells me that I'm clean. Yeah. He has one. So um, if he has lost his hair from the front of his scalp and has a bald forehead, he is clean. <laughs> But if, if he has a reddish white sore on his bald head or forehead, it is a defi defiling disease breaking out on his head or forehead. Hey, that's a good thing that they were bald because if they had hair, you could you wouldn't be able to see that right. spot. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it could be who knows what. Well, you had one lesion removed that was precancerous up there, and it's never tanned. It's still right. white yeah. on your head. Yeah. So. So. But, God. He made sure he provided us with every never, indication. Never develop protection because it never tans, so it <laughs> isolated. Uh, yeah. Usually he tan he tans to the point where I think <clears throat> you know, if you guys need a black pastor, he's there. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, he just goes so dark, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so pale. <laughs> No, I won't tell no. that story. <laughs> okay, so uh, verse forty-five. Um, God also gave also gave us rules for anybody who might want to cover up their diseases, because sometimes when we have you know a disease, we're ashamed of it. And we want to cover it up. So God provides us with some rules. He says, anybody with such a defiling disease 
must wear torn clothes, let their hair be unkept, and cover the lower part of their face, and cry out, unclean, unclean. Oh, horrible. Well, because God wants to protect his people. He wants to protect his community. He's mm. not worried about our egos. How, if, if we're ashamed of, of our little disease, he doesn't want it to affect his people. I'm um, contagious. But, pardon? Well, I'm contagious. Yeah. Right, yeah. I'm contagious. It's not I'm okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and these, these three things that, that God provided, they're all signs of mourning. How, this is how people reacted when one of their loved ones died. They tore their clothes. They, they didn't have a covering over their head. Their hair was all messed up. And they wore scarves. And you'll see in, in our notes, Genesis 37, verse 34, uh, tells us when Jacob lost um, what, his sons. Then Jacob tore his clothes, put on sackcloth, and mourned for his sons for many days. Remember when Aaron's two sons were killed, Moses told them, you must not tear your clothing. Oh yeah, that's right. Remember? And do not let your hair become unkempt. Right, right. Remember, oh. back to last, last week's lesson, yeah. Aaron was told, you're not to mourn for these guys. Even though God zapped Probably. them well, really God fast. God zapped them for good reason. Right. Because yeah. they didn't pay attention to the rules. They had seven days of training, seven days of practice, and on the eighth day they messed up. Well, they were actually mocking God, weren't they? Well, we're not quite sure. We think they, they were, were drunk. Doing. They were mm. celebrating. They, they could have been mocking God. They could have not followed the procedures. None of the commentators really know what happened. We just know that they didn't do what they were supposed to do after all this training, after all this preparation. And God says, you have to do this. And we know the reason for all the preparation for sacrifices was so they wouldn't look like the pagans. Because the pagans came to sacrifice, they didn't do anything. You know, any old animal they would sacrifice, and they would purposely get drunk for their sacrifice. So they might even have been drunk. We weren't sure about that either. In the, <clears throat> where the priests tore their robes, kind of like sacrilege, is that the second reason for... Um, yeah, it, especially if it was one of the sacred robes. Could it, and God would allow it in certain instances, if it were something against um, against him, he would allow it. Otherwise, you were supposed to keep those sacred robes perfect. Um, remember back to a couple chapters where when they were cleaning the ashes off this the altar, the burnt offerings altar, they had to put on their linen clothes because that those ashes.